church. You may find some as good somewhere in the world, but not any better. <laughs> okay, how y'all doing today? Yeah. Happy Sabbath. You know, I was going to bring a different story, but I was in line behind this guy at the store yesterday. And he had this shirt on that said, Bad decisions make great stories. I thought, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, I changed what I was going to do. Now, I know you adults enjoy this too, so this is for everybody. We're going to read from 2 Kings, and, and I'm going to, um, this is Elisha and Elijah, the story of the two of them, okay? Now, Elijah was taken up, right? We all know the story. And Elijah saw him taken. You don't know the story? No. All right, well, I'm going to have your parents write it down. 2 Kings 2 and 12, and you can check it out, all right? Anyways, so Elijah saw Elijah taken up. And then the mantle, which is his, his staff, Right? was passed on to Elisha. Right? Now, as we read here, it says that Elijah was coming back to Bethel. And he went up from thence unto Bethel. And I think it would be good to remember all good students of the Bible that Bethel was one of the cities that Jeroboam set up the golden calves. Okay. As he was going up by the way, there came forth, came forth little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, Go up, thou bald head, and go up, thou bald head. Now the Bible says, <laughs> little children. Okay? Now, thankfully, you know, since Chuck has come and, and his... his taught me to, to look these words up and find out what they really mean and say. Now, when you think of little children, what do you think of? Little children. But if you go look these words up, okay, the little is 6996, Kutan. And children, verse 23, is the, verb, the word not nayar, 55288. In verse 24, it's 3206. Children, the word for children is yield, yielded. This doesn't mean little children. This is a terrible translation when you read it in the English. If you understand it, this word for children is the same word that they use for David when David was going to, to slay Goliath. Now, he was a young man, but he was by no means a little child. Are you getting the picture here? Okay. And they said, go up, bald head, go up, bald head. And he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And there came forth two she-bears out of the wood, and tear forth the children, tear forth forty and two children of them. Of them. What does that presuppose when you read the word of them? There's more. There's more. So forty-two children. Tear. Now the word for tear is baga, Strong's 12.34. It means to tear, to rip open, to break. That doesn't mean that they all died. Most people read that and they think the bears killed all these little children. How terrible is God? Right? Now stop and think about this though. Why did God have to do something so severe as to cause two bears to come out of the woods and attack these young people? Why do you suppose that was? <laughs> Making fun of the prophet. It was technically, you're, you're on the right track. You're getting there. It's technically making fun of God himself, isn't it? Right? Who's this man representing? What were they actually saying, these young people? What were they saying? Go up, bald head. We didn't want Elijah, right? And we don't want you either. Isn't that what they were really saying when they were mocking him? 
So what was God doing by doing what he did? Yes, young man. The bears were attacking the people. But it straightened everybody up, didn't it? It squared up a whole town that was that was sent off and let me let me put it to you this way. The big moral of the story is Elisha's job was to call the people to return to the true God and worship him alone and put away idolatry and all vile practices associated with it. That's why something so severe had to happen to cause these people to come away. Sometimes people have to be woken from their slumber, don't they? Sometimes it's like, hey, wake up, Rosa. That's not enough, huh? Sometimes you really got to arrest people's attention. And I hope to God that you young people don't have to have your attention arrested by a couple of bears before you begin to listen to God. What do you think? Would someone like to pray? Nobody. All right, why don't you pray?